Hi, I'm Barry Broderick and uh, I work for Broderick's and I'm responsible for coming up with the cool bars uh, with tasty ingredients. And I'm Bernard Broderick, uh, I look after production, all the great ideas, all the, all the cool products, they're all mine and uh, all sales then, uh, the most important significant sales come through me. Some of the smaller stuff, um, uh, bits and pieces go through Barry. He's dreaming. In 1983, I founded the company. Uh, the reason was that I had four very young children, but I wanted to look after them myself. I had a business interest always, and I was particularly interested in food. So I saw other people making different things for different shops and companies, and I thought, that's something I'd love to do. So I decided to make a cheesecake. So that continued on and I was doing the delis and the, some hotels and bars. Then one day I delivered a cake to my brother who owned the Henry Grattan bar in Baggett Street. A gentleman came in for a cup of coffee and he said he'd have a slice of cheesecake. He asked the barman who made the cake. That changed my life because he was a buyer for the airlines in Dublin airport. So I moved into the Turn Your Enterprise Centre for a few years when Barry, my eldest son, finished college. And that's where it, really where it started and Bernard came in as well then. The family felt that I'd be the best addition to the team. Barry was a good lad but needed you know, a bit more structure. We were used to putting really good quality food into restaurants, restaurants and hotels and, yeah. and so at the time, there was nothing in the in the convenience store. We wanted to develop a brand that would work for us. So, like our brand values of family, good quality ingredients, and and fun. Like it's really true. funny. Yeah, we're really funny. We only use the best ingredients. Then everything is made in a small batch by people all the way through the process. And the recipes haven't changed. So we've done a lot um, from a technical point of view to make sure each batch is as consistent as it can be. So right now we produce about 300 different products. Within the core Broderick's range, there's five key products right now. We have the caramel. Yeah, because caramel. we're a mental. Um, actually, <laughs> 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 cut that. A beautiful butter shortbread base with a, a layer of our own caramel that we've developed over a long period of time and then some Belgian chocolate on top. We like to think that it's the, the best caramel slice on the market. And then there's the, the Rocky Road. You mean the Road Rock and Chop Chop Block? Rocky Road is just uh, Belgian chocolate, marshmallows and biscuit. Then we have the Tiffin. The Tiff Toff and the Tuffin. Which is made with Belgian chocolate, uh, biscuits and some of our other secret ingredients. Then there's the brownie, which is, um, brownies are best seller in Germany and France. Which is the brown, uh, the gooey, the gooey, oozy. gooey, oozy, chocolate, solid brick. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> <laughs> Been a while yeah. since we named them. That when we were developing the brownie for six months at 6 a.m., Barry was bringing in a new brownie every day. Um, and obviously he wants you to taste them and everything. So that's, uh, and I'm still tweaking. I'm still tweaking. Still not happy. <laughs> then there's the uh, crunchy slam dunk peanut chunk. The peanut slam. That one is made with Belgian chocolate, roasted peanuts, some crispies on the base, our luxury caramel, and then uh, a nice layer of peanut butter, white chocolate, and some milk chocolate to top it off. There's families here from uh, Poland, uh, Romania. Romania. Uh, there's some people here from uh, Mongolia. Um, and then there's even people here from Donegal. But we're trying to limit that. Yeah. You know. Cork as well. Yeah, strange, 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 strange people. people. I think working with your family is can be very nice because at least you can trust one another. Yeah, we know yes. we let her go a couple of years back. Yeah, I know who. She didn't. She didn't work out. Who? We do have arguments um, on very rare occasions, like once a decade, or I mean once a once a day or once an hour. But it's, we know where we want to go. Also the fact, I think a lot comes from Ina, because she was very willing right from the start to let Barry um, make, the, you know, make big decisions and she wasn't holding him back or anything like that. And the same when I came in then. I'm a lot younger than, than Barry. Uh, she came in, she, she allowed, oh, she yeah. created that environment where it was easy. And so you felt empowered straight right from the start. My father had a lot of experience in building. So 
when it came to kitting out the first uh, factory, he controlled that whole thing. Yeah, when we moved into our new premises, um, he was a he was a great help in in uh, Walkenstown uh, prior to moving to our, our our new our latest premises. But uh, he was a great help, and he is now the site manager in the new factory. And there's very little happens without him seeing it. As he's from Kerry. <laughs> What's it like working with uh, Barry and Bernard? <laughs> Do you really want to know? I have to lie now. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. And I really like to work with them. Um, they invest a lot in, in me. Like They are actually like family. They were very good. Um, I grew up with them like I, I know they're higher than me now, but whatever. <laughs> I have to walk my way up to get as far as they are. I'm glad to be um, part of what they're doing and, uh, and I hope to continue so until I retire, which is seven years, I think. <laughs> Ina's wonderful, really good businesswoman. Boys can be very frustrating, but on the whole, I get on fine with them, really. Two widgets, yeah, that's a nice way of putting it, yeah. They are two something, but widgets will just do, yeah. <laughs> But 2011 till now, um, um, it's, it's been growing a lot, a real lot. When I started here, there was 15 people 17 years ago, and now there's over 100 people working here. Even though it's grown, it still has a family atmosphere. It's a good feeling to see your products uh, around the place. I feel proud to work with this company anyway. I want to play an important part of a factory that's growing and to say that um, I did my part to help the factory be where it is today. Now that we've moved to Tala and we've got this fabulous bakery, we'd love to be like a Guinness storehouse or, or, a, or a Ben and Jerry's or something. Like, why not? Why not aim high? We've got this great team of people. We've got a great product. There's, there's nothing I think that, that gives me more of a thrill than somebody sending us an email or something saying, just try the product and I love it. And we get them from all now we get the them place. from all over the world, and it, that makes my makes my day. It was a great sense of achievement when we see you know see some of our products on sale in in uh, either Korea, Germany, or Holland or something, and or France, and you realise, my God, this all come from starting in our mother's kitchen all those years ago, and you kind of go, what you can achieve if if you want to achieve, and we're only starting out, and we hope to to grow that and uh, and really be something that we can be very proud of. <laughs> My advice for the Sons for the Future is to uh, enjoy it, to really try and enjoy the business and to look after the customers. And I think if you look after the customers, if you do good products and sell good products, if people get good products at good prices, of course, you'll always have the business.